is that all you got? What's good, everybody out there on YouTube? This is your man, Shattic Stick, dropping some hot Faraga on this mic. Today, we're going to be talking about the DLC for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. More specifically, when is the next character coming? And I think that they're going to come at E3. Not specifically dropping, but I do think that Nintendo might reveal the next character at E3, maybe even drop them. The first thing I have to address is the time frame in which characters are announced. Now, if you guys remember, Joker was actually released, you know, not at release, but announced less than a month after Super Smash Bros. Ultimate released. So it's not crazy to think that they may announce another character right after Joker, and two months after Joker comes out isn't too crazy. But who do I think it's going to be? I wholeheartedly believe that the next character for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate that's going to get announced will be Sora from the Kingdom Hearts series, considering that, you know, Kingdom Hearts 3 just came out. It's a big name title and would be a character that really, truly is out of nowhere, considering that we have no Kingdom Hearts games on the Nintendo Switch, though there have been Kingdom Hearts games on previous platforms that Nintendo has created. But why at E3? Why would they release another character or announce another character at E3. The first thing I have to say is it's to create buzz and hype around Super Smash Bros. Ultimate because it's a game a lot of people have bought. It has driven a lot of Switch units and just a lot of software units, period. It's already the third best-selling Nintendo Switch game, and, and it's been out for less than half a year, basically, at this point. I mean, think about it like this. The only two games above it are, I think, Super Mario Odyssey, and I know for a fact Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, at this point in time, as confirmed by Nintendo, is the best game, or, or the best-selling game, not my bad, not best game, but best-selling game on the Nintendo Switch. And if Smash has already caught up that fast, it wouldn't be crazy to pull out in people with an even more exciting character, especially since he has had his most recent debut a few months ago, actually about a month and or a month and a half after Super Smash Bros. released on the Nintendo Switch. And maybe they announced the Kingdom Hearts Collection for Nintendo Switch at E3. Maybe they announced uh, Kingdom Hearts Report, which I highly doubt they didn't announce if they ha had one planned for the Switch, you know, at E3. I, don't, I doubt they'd announce it at E3 this soon, especially since the game just went gold at the end of last year around you know November December but I think they'd announce a part of the story so far which contains basically all the games in the series in some capacity for the Nintendo Switch especially since it's not something that's hard to run and it's easy to port to the Nintendo Switch I mean everything on there is basically a PS2 game out of side of the 0.2 demo and considering that Microsoft fans or Microsoft console users haven't gotten a port of all the rest of the Kingdom Hearts games and Kingdom Hearts 3 is on the Xbox one I I wouldn't say that it's far-fetched that Square would do the same thing they did with the Final Fantasy series, but with Kingdom Hearts, and port all of those games to, you know, the Nintendo Switch and the Xbox One. And maybe at the end of this, you know, big reveal, they announced Sora from Kingdom Hearts as the next character for Smash. I don't know. That's what I believe is going to happen. Again, I've made numerous videos on this, and I've made numerous videos on what character I think is going to come next, or what characters are going to come in the future, and I think that's a character that would really fit, you know, the Super Smash brothers ultimate universe but would they drop this dlc at e3 or would they drop the dlc after e3 i actually think you know considering we have two months with you know in between and we know joker was you know getting finished up between march and april i don't think it would be too crazy to say that we might actually see this character get dropped at e3 well yes there was a four to five month time frame in which joker was announced and then released i don't think it's crazy to say that they could release another character in about two months we've seen other fighting games do this and i don't think they may have been working on just joker alone especially considering the brave code was found in the game back when the joke joker were in you know uh piranha plants data was found in the game through the dynamites i don't know that's just me i really do think that we may get a character dropped at e3 and i think we're gonna get a character announced at e3 could we get multiple characters i don't know i wouldn't put it past nintendo it'd be pretty cool to see multiple characters but i doubt that we'll be getting something like that i think they'd say that more so for the latter half of the year when they need to push more switch units and get people invested or interested in super smash brothers ultimate again who haven't played the game or people who are playing the game that maybe need or who have played the game they need another reason to jump back in 
But guys, tell me how you feel about this in the comment section down below. Do you think Sora is going to come? Do you think it's a different character? Do you Are you opposed to Sora coming? Are you opposed to any other character getting into Super Smash Brothers Ultimate? Do you think Nintendo will drop a trailer at E3 or even drop an entire character? I wouldn't say that it's unprecedented considering that Nintendo has dropped entire games right after a Direct. Literally, the Direct would be over and they, they say during the Direct, after this Direct is done, you can go buy this game on the eShop. And considering how big Smash is, why wouldn't they do that for a Smash DLC character? It's actually pretty easy when you think about it. And it builds a lot of hype at E3. That would make their E3 extremely hyped up. That's part of the show now. It's more about pleasing the people and the fans watching than pleasing investors like it was in the past. But what do you want to see? Do you want to see Nintendo, you know, announce a character or even drop a character at E3? Do you think they're going to? Do you think they're not? Do you hope they don't? And tell me your concerns down in our comment section below. This has been your man, Shaddock Stick. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Share this video out with your friends. Remember, Hot Faraga turns to Cold Blazaga. Make sure you chill out with some of my other videos. Make sure you join the Discord to stay up to date with all my latest videos. Or if you just want to talk or play games make sure you follow me on twitter to also stay updated or just to chat again hot faraga turns to cold blizzaga make sure you chill out some of my other videos peace kiss kiss Bada, bada.